going on guys? Yes, another video, not too far from the Fresh Falls candle one. As you can see, we have the Fresh Falls Dr. Squatch candle burning at this moment for the nice aroma to set the mood for this video. <laughs> I'm kidding, okay. <laughs> on his 80 reference. I couldn't find what he was talking about. So if anybody has any idea of candles no, no, no. and rose petals in the 80s, please let us know down I, below. I just meant like in pop culture, not like in movies. You said 80s movies. I don't know. And my dude, you're only 13. My brain is literally fried. From what? <laughs> From the Squatch candle, of course. <laughs> Never mind, it doesn't matter. We're going to get to another review today. We have some more soap that I have been using outside of Dr. Squatch by Sudsy Bear, the Swamp Dweller. Shrek. And we're going to be getting into this review right after this. <laughs> guys we're back with another review for some soap the Sudsy Bear company Sudsy Bear has been really good I have used several of their soaps and I'm not disappointed in their quality at all uh, I've used quite a bit of their soaps so I think this is a good runner-up for Dr. Squatch anybody who hasn't tried Sudsy Bear we're gonna give you our thoughts on the Swamp Dweller and let you know what we think about the soap so as far as the packaging, the packaging is going to be kind of cool. You know, it's it's just a little, you know, it's just a little piece of paper that's wrapped around and taped. Yeah. It's pretty, I guess it's pretty original. You know, it's, it's not in a package, it's not in a box. It's just a simple, it gives you all the information you need. You know, it's very simple. It has a, a bear trying to get a beehive because he's nuts. And uh, has, you know, just some basic printing on it. It's made in the USA. The feature scent in this one is called white oak acorn powder. Never heard of it. It's pretty interesting if you ask me. But first we're gonna go over the ingredients. Have a smell. It's gonna have some saponified oils of organic, extra virgin olive, coconut, sustainable palm, castor, sunflower, hemp seed, organic shea butter, sea salt, crisp pine essential oil, fir needle essential oil, zesty orange essential needle, cedar wood essential oil, white oak acorn powder, kaolin clay, activated charcoal, pine tar extract, pumice powder, oatmeal, anato seed powder, spirulina powder, <laughs> natural iron oxide coloring. It's gonna have a lot of essential oils in it, a lot of them. And you can actually smell it in this bar. This bar is gonna have a very, very strong citrus tint to it. Yeah, it smells mostly like an orange to me, but like an earthy orange. Also, I don't know why, but I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like someone drew like crayons on the side of it. Like, look at that. You're not over the flame. <laughs> <laughs> Cook yeah. it, we must eat it. Cookie, cookie. <laughs> yeah, you can see it does look like little pieces of wax, like little darkened wax crown there. It's pretty, it's different. It's definitely unique. You know, it's going to be a 6.5 ounce bar. Slightly bigger than Dr. Squatch's five ounce bar, so it's gonna be slightly bigger. Uh, the price range as far as like, between them and Dr. Squatch is gonna be similar. Uh, the 6.5 ounce bars are gonna be slightly more expensive because they are bigger. That makes sense. But not by much, but they do last a lot longer than the five ounce bars. I actually noticed that when I was using that uh, Sudsy Bear. Yeah, Sudsy Bear has been really good. We have uh, some other videos that we posted I posted one with my daughter about going through several of them when I first tried it. I also did a comparison between the Cool Fresh Aloes between Dr. Squatch and Sudsy Bear. And uh, Sudsy Bear won that one. Yeah. So as far as like the texture, it's going to, I think this is going to have an exfoliant in it because it does have oatmeal in it. I don't know anybody's experience with uh, essential oils, but it definitely has a very strong citrus, like essential oil smell to it. But you know how the essential oils have that real strong tint to yeah. them? Yeah. It, it smells very citrusy. Uh, if I had to compare it to any Squatch, it, it smells kind of similar to Wisdom Wash. You know how Wisdom Wash has that kind of like that floral, 
that floral like citrus smell it, yeah. it kind of smells similar to it if you like citrus roots and like the smell of it you should definitely get this because this smells like it smells like an orange or like any any citrus fruit it doesn't even have to be specific uh, it does have lime uh yeah i was gonna say it smells like lime or lemon like but to me it smells a lot like orange and then with like yeah it has zesty orange essential oil <laughs> well it has crisp pine essential oil oh um, as far as like the in my experience from all the studsy bears so their lather the lather on their soaps is very good you know it gets very sudsy sudsy bear it gets very sudsy um, and the aroma i love about sudsy berries the aroma stays on your skin for quite some time on some of these bars, I've been able to smell these bars on my skin the very next morning. And that's very impressive because on a lot of natural soaps, you don't get that. But this one, definitely, you can smell it. I mean, I haven't used this bar yet. I just want to do a review on it. It's supposed to be forest fresh wilderness inspired. So it's, it's supposed to be inspired by forest fresh wilderness. <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to smell like. <laughs> wilderness fresh forest. But yeah, as you can see. It's a, it's a cool look, it's a cool looking bar. You know, it's, it, it looks, it does look natural. You can see all like the, the slight imperfections in it. And that's how you can tell it's more natural because it doesn't look like perfect like you buy in the store. I'm definitely excited to try this bar just because I've been using natural soap for a year and I, I just love the way natural soap s s smells and feels on your skin. You know, it's a big difference between store bought. You can tell a huge difference and your skin and just the way your skin feels energized it's, it's just hard to explain you know it's good stuff so what, what do you I mean what do you think you've been using Sozy Bear what do you think as far as like the quality of their soaps compared to Dr. Squatch so I like that they last a lot longer and I think uh, the lather it's really consistent because for some reason with like Squatch you really gotta like rub with some of them I don't know. I don't. You do. Yeah, I don't know if it's like a bar defect or anything. Well, it's one thing is it's natural soap, so a lot of times you're gonna have, you know, when it's a natural ingredients and naturally churned and uh, cold press and all that stuff, it probably settles differently. You can have different experiences and different soaps because you're gonna have either lack of smell or the lather is not gonna be as consistent because of the the mixture and the natural oils that settle. And the bar is like a lot bigger. And it's just a really good combo. So if you if you like anything citrusy or like kind of a earthy, this like Sudsy Bear would go along with you. Sounds good. Anybody who tried uh, Sudsy Bear, leave your comments down below and let us know what you think about it. If you're interested in trying Sudsy Bear, I will leave a link down below and you can visit their website. They are a very small company based out of Florida. Uh, they do have a lot of good quality soaps, and I would definitely recommend trying them. If you're a Dr. Squatch fan, I would say try them because they're pretty similar to Dr. Squatch, but their scents are kind of like, you know, they're not compared to Dr. Squatch, but they are, they are in that in that realm of being high quality like Dr. Squatch is. They're both good in their own ranks. Because I, I do like Dr. Squatch a lot. I've been using them for well over a year now, and. They're a good company. Their customer service is awesome. If you're new to Dr. Squash, I'll leave a link down below and you can check their website out and you can save 20% or you can subscribe and you can get free shipping for life and save 15% on all your orders. Sounds like a good deal to me. And if you're not kind of sure on what you want from Dr. Squash, but you want to get a discount, I'll leave a link down below where you can save $7 plus free shipping on your first order. Thank you to all the new subs, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment down below. We greatly appreciate it, and we greatly appreciate all the support that we continue to have. Thank you so much, you guys. Until next time, peace out.